This is my fight prediction for Lester Martinez versus Joseon James. Uh, James is a very good puncher, very good boxer, uh, has very good defense. Um, but at the same time, he does let his hands uh, get in the way and he catch big shots, especially when he's in the inside. He doesn't really like to be pressured, and that at a lot of times can um, lead to some big shots that he takes. I think that he's more comfortable moving to his left. When he moves to his right, he gets caught uh, with the left hook, kind of stagnant when that happens. And Martinez can actually uh, make that happen to where he's going to his right, which is Martinez's left. That can cause a lot of issues. And Martinez has a good left hook. And if he can make James kind of run into that shot and then land the right hand, Martinez has a lot of different ways where he can set things up. He uh he's not gonna be jabbing as much as James, but he's he's a lot more solid at that weight. And his jabs are gonna he's gonna sit on his punches a little bit more. James is gonna be moving. Um and that's gonna cause a lot of disruption. But at the same time, uh depends on how the styles will match up. And I just feel like um James has to do a lot more if he's gonna be pressuring a guy like Martinez. Martinez is going to be the pressure fighter. But if he can make Martinez go back and uh, do some different things, James is very talented when he puts his uh, hands together as far as combinations. But when he's just kind of waiting on the guy to put his weight on him and he's pushing off, doesn't really do a lot for him. He can't, he actually gets caught a lot doing that, uh, trying to push guys off and move and use his forearm and uh, put his arm out, kind of catches too many shots doing that. So when he's boxing and moving, he's rarely getting hit. You know, you're going to get punched in a uh, fight, but usually the big shots he'll take is when he's uh, stopping and standing in one spot, letting the guy walk him down. So if he can uh, keep Martinez from cutting off the ring, which he's going to be trying to do, uh, he'll have a great chance of winning this fight. I think they're uh, close in talent. It's just the way the approach got to be, and they have different styles. Uh, I think Martinez has a little bit, bit more power, but James has power as well. He just has to put it together. And the way his uppercut is, he has a good uppercut, just doesn't set it up. A lot of times, doesn't use it. It's a very good punch. Um, does a lot of damage, especially when guys are in the inside trying to pressure. If I'm a guy like James in this fight, and you know Lester. Martinez is going to be trying to move forward, and he's going to be hanging over a little bit. Kind of want to use that uppercut, just saying, because you already know you're going to be lacking some power. I mean, he does have a lot of power, but just some power he's going to be lacking just because he's going to be moving. Power is not going to be as solid if he was in one place. So you have to be able to land that uppercut. When he's coming inside, and that'll uh, set up some things. I've seen the uppercut get land on him a couple times, and Martinez watches what he does. After something like that happens, kind of keeps him guessing, different kind of punches. But um, James got to have a solid jab going though. That's one thing. I know he's in shape enough to go um the distance, but as far as being efficient and Snapping that jab out there, he got to get a lot more snap on that jab. He really does. Got a decent jab, but I'm talking about as far as snapping it round after round after round, he has to be able to do that. If not, uh, it's going to be a long night. Martinez put together some good combinations, uh, some, some nice hooks. Go to the body, and he'll land upstairs trying to knock you out. He's trying to go for a knockout. Martinez is. So at this in this fight, man, uh, James, he got to he gotta set some stuff up. He really does. Got to think a little bit more. Use some kind of head movement. That's the thing that kind of lacks for me is he's not moving his head, not changing the levels. Um, I think Martinez can actually get caught the same way. His head is not really moving. It's coming straight forward. Um, he's able to get caught. If James can put together a punch. Catch Martinez on the chin at the right spot. Anybody can go down. If he can set it up the right way with his reach, he'll definitely be able to go for the knockout. But I'm uh, 
I'm going to go with Martinez in this fight. And I'll say it'll be a decision just because uh, Martinez, he has a chin, but James also has a chin. He takes some hard shots, so um, I think it'll go the distance. But that's all I got. Like and subscribe.